Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how to create custom activity table in Power Apps and Microsoft Dynamic 365 CE. Before we get started, let's quickly discuss what activities are. So an activity represents a specific event or interaction, like an email, a phone call or a task. These are critical for managing customer relationship and business process. So activities help team stay organized, track progress and follow up on key actions. Now let's create new custom activity table. Go to the Mac.Power apps. So in the left hand navigation pane, click on solutions. This will show you a list of all the solution. Now from the list of available solution, select the solution in which you are working on. Or if you are starting fresh, create new solution by clicking the new solution button. So now I am working on a testing solution. So click on that. So within your solution, click on the plus new button at the top of the page. From the drop down menu, select table. This will allow you to create a new table within your solution. Now click on table advanced properties. So now give the display name test activity. Now click on advanced option drop down. Go to the type and now click on drop down and click on activity. So now primary column. Take note of how the name of the primary columns appear. Any activities tables primary column is always subject to. Now click on the save button. If click on this entity and go to the properties. So to be able to create an activity regarding a table. So be make sure you have enabled attachment. Now click on advanced option drop down and also selected the make this an option when creating a new activity. Now go to the forms then click on main form. So here select the timeline control. Now choose which activity you want to enable for this table. And now click on phone call. And then click on enable. And then click on done. Now click on save and publish button. So now go back to the sales app application. And firstly refresh the app. Now open any record from here. Now go to the timeline. So these activity are visible. So in this video we covered how to create custom activity table and choose which activity you want to enable for this table. Thanks for watching.